all about Fibonacci in one video. Even a beginner will understand Fibonacci after watching this and learn how to use it properly. These principles are the foundation of our entire world and of course underpin the global economy. It's a magical number sequence that helps thousands of traders make money every day. If you don't want to get left behind and want to start trading profitably like a pro, watch this video carefully. You're on the right path. Let's get started. First things first, what do we even use Fibonacci retracement levels for? Well, those levels help us determine depth of corrections. Markets are not locked in to move just up or down in a trend. That becomes obvious when you open any chart. Sure, prices change in a general trend, which we call global trend, but we also see pullbacks or corrections. See, it goes up and then a little bit down and then up again. You got the point. And if we want to short, for instance, with a profit, we want to enter a market when it's trading in a downtrend and not when the price is at its low, where it is trading right now, but when it's in its high, where the correction ends and the market switches back to trading down. And that's where our Fibonacci retracement levels come in. They show us where that correction may end and point to the level where the market might start trading down with the trend again. Just look how perfectly everything is aligned. And keep in mind, this is not a unique case. And trust me, when you start using this tool in your day to day, you'll be surprised by how often it works. Now I know there are a lot of these levels, but don't let it scare you. The important thing is to understand where the main golden level of 0.6 comes from. So what's its magic? Let's take our time to answer this question. Let's try to understand where this pattern and these levels come from. Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers with each when divided by the next one equals approximately 0.6. This is also known as the Fibonacci golden ratio. Now you see our brains are somehow wired to this ratio. We subconsciously find it beautiful, pleasing, perfect, just like symmetry. And you don't need to look far to find examples of it working in real life, in nature, architecture, art, even in yourself, and surely enough in trading. That's why every trading platform has Fibonacci retracement listed as one of trading tools. Let's apply it here on our platform and break down how to use it correctly. Fibonacci retracement is drawn based on the last price impulse. We put the zero at the end of the impulse and one at the beginning. And keep in mind, we only apply it by the trend. Also, don't forget to take candlestick shadows into account. Now you see those Fibonacci levels we're talking about. You can think of them as local support or resistance levels. So they show where the market can stall or start moving in a different direction. Put a like to this video if you like the breakdown so far before we continue. Okay, the main level is 0.6 and how it appears, I get it. What about the other levels? Huh? If you take any number of the Fibonacci sequence and divide it by the next one, you'll get 0.6. And if you skip one and divide it by the number after that, you'll get 0.3. If you skip two, 0.2. Add a level in the middle or the 0.51 and we get our main Fibonacci levels. By the way, what's up with this 0.5 level? Let's try to understand it using the example of this downtrending market. Downtrend means we want to go short. Now, everything above the 0.5 level is priced too high, what we call the premium zone or the overbought zone, overpriced, in other words. That's where we find the best entry points to go short. Now, when it comes to the lower half, that's what we call the discount zone, meaning that the market is trading at a discounted price.
The big question here is, where will the market change the direction it's trading? And where will this impulse end? Let's take this question and get to the interesting part, how to trade using Fibonacci. The most important thing to understand is how markets react to those levels. And to make this more digestible, I'll draw the possible scenarios. I'll use this hypothetical upwards impulse as an example and draw the Fibonacci retracement levels. Now, if the price crosses a level, but then goes back, you can see that as a candlestick shadow crossing the level, but the body staying above, it does not mean that the level broke. And it does not matter how far the shadow might go, whether it went far or just a little, sure the level was reached, but not broken. If that is the case, we can expect the market to react and start looking for a good entry point on lower time frame charts. But that's outside the scope of today's video. One more time, the shadow means that the bears started to push the price up. That's the reaction, the beginning of it. Then, if the next candle is green, the level worked and we can start looking for an entry point. But if the opposite is true and the candle completes below the level, it means that the level broke and we should expect the price to go down to another level and react to it. Now, a green candle can still follow, but that would not be a reaction to the level now, and the market will likely keep going down after it. Let's say the price went down to the 0.7 level and then a large tail formed. It still means that the market reached the level, but not broke it. What I understand by reaction is an end of correction the point at which the market should start moving with the trend again. In other words, that can be our entry point. And if it's below the 0.5 level, it's probably going to be a good one. And if it follows a long green candle, it's an even better one. The 0.7 is the low of this correction. Now, if it breaks, we are likely to see a trend reversal or market consolidation. I mentioned a lot of complicated concepts today, and I really hope you'll be able to remember and understand them all. Let me quickly recap everything we've talked about today. Fibonacci retracement levels are used for trend trading. We apply them to the chart by placing one at a start of an impulse and zero at the end of it. We use those levels to determine the depth of a correction. Here in this case, the correction continues, and we keep waiting for a better entry point. And here, the correction ends. It can happen at any Fibonacci retracement level. That can be our entry point. And if the market pushes below 0.7, we look elsewhere. I hope this video is gonna be useful to you, and I tried to put all the important information in it as clearly as possible. You can help this channel by subscribing, putting a like to this video, and sharing it with your friends. I'd really appreciate it if you did. Stay safe and be in touch.